Hey guys, it's Zach with Aldec, and today I'll be showing how to use the UVM Toolbox for verifying and debugging designs in Riviera Pro. The UVM Toolbox available in Riviera Pro can help to present and visualize the architecture of UVM-based test benches. The UVM Toolbox has compatibility with UVM 1.2, 1.1D, and 1.0P1, and must be compiled with the design sources for full feature use. Before being able to use the features of the UVM Toolbox, you will need to make sure simulation is initialized. We're going to take a look at the UVM Graph first. The UVM Graph can be opened in the toolbar where the UVM Toolbox is, or it can be opened via View, UVM, and UVM Graph. When opened, you will be able to see the UVM Test Bench hierarchy presented in a graphical form. You can expand the boxes in the graphical layout to view lower level hierarchy components and identify the role based on the icon and color that represents them. The different rectangles will correspond to UVM components and uses arrows between those blocks to specify the transaction level model connections. There are some tools available to you in the toolbar of the UVM graph viewer. There are various zooming features like zoom in, zoom out, zoom to fit, and reset zoom. You can use the different pointer tools, such as selection mode, pan mode, and zoom mode. There's a magnifier toggle for use when looking at the viewer while zoomed out, and ability to remove the arrows displaying connections between the components. Using vertical view will put the UVM graphical representation to flow top down as opposed to left to right. If the user wishes, they can also export the graphical representation to an SVG, PNG, JPG, or BMP image format. Next, we'll look at the UVM Hierarchy window. Open the window using UVM Hierarchy from the UVM toolbar, or by View, UVM, and UVM Hierarchy. Much like the UVM Graph Viewer, this will present the hierarchy of the UVM test bench. The UVM Hierarchy Viewer is divided into two panes, Hierarchy and Properties. Using the hierarchy may be easier to use for showing parent-child dependencies than the UVM Graph Viewer, and you can also use the filter in the toolbar to view certain components, filtering with either a user-defined mask or a regular expression. Underneath the hierarchy, we can expand the Properties pane, which will display the properties of the object selected in either the UVM graph or hierarchy in two branches. The first branch will display UVM component properties, such as full hierarchical name, whether it's visible, and the component type. The second branch will display System Verilog class members that represent the selected UVM component. If you right-click on a UVM class in the Hierarchy pane, you'll be able to navigate directly to the Classes window with Show in Classes. Notice that as things are selected in the UVM Graph Viewer, the Hierarchy window is connected and switches with the selections that are made in the Viewer. Now we can look at the UVM Configuration window. Open the window using UVM Configuration from the UVM Toolbar, or by View, UVM, and UVM Configuration. Similarly, our UVM Configuration window is also divided into two panes, Configuration and Properties. The Configuration pane represents the resources available in the UVM Configuration database. The Scope column presents the hierarchical UVM region where the resource is visible and its value in the Value column. Resources can be grouped and filtered using the toolbar at the top of the window. When an item is selected, the properties of that resource can be viewed in the Properties pane. The items include type, value, scope, precedence, and whether it's been modified or if it's read-only. It will also display the raw value of the System Verilog class representing that UVM resource. Well, that's all for this video on using the UVM Toolbox in Revere Pro. Thanks for watching.